Lads, welcome back to another player review on the channel. Now today, we are reviewing this brand new Foot Birthday Eric Bailly card. Now, the SBC itself, in my opinion, is quite good. It is quite a... I say it's cheap, it depends. If you don't have any cards for fodder, it'll be quite expensive to buy, because 86 fodder for an 86 rated squad, 50 chem and inform, is going to be pretty expensive, to be fair, but... Um, there are a lot of objective cards you can grind for that are high rated, and that, that's the way I got it. And it's not too much chemistry either, so, you know, you can get the players from the past, stuff like that. It, so it's not the hardest card to get, I think it's okay value. Now, his stats, 5 star weak foot, which is way more important than skill moves on a centre back, because you need to be able to pass it around the back line without failure, which is nice that he's got that. Medium high work rates, quite nice, good defensive work rates. I wish he had low high, but... Medium high is okay. Five star weak foot. Six foot one's okay for a centre back. Good league, obviously, Man United. I put an anchor on him because personally, um, I want to get that strength jumping and aggression up as much as possible because I like that on a centre back. You know, for six foot one as well, I want to make sure we get the mu as much out of him as possible. Now, he's got a good pace with an anchor. Uh, with an anchor, he has 84 acceleration with 90 sprint speed. His shooting's irrelevant. Good short passing, but the rest of his passing is pretty shocking. Okay agility, okay balance, okay reactions, good composure. So he's okay ball control and okay dribbling for a centre-back. Now, his defending's up really good, um, well-rounded with an uh, anchor. It becomes all in the 90s, which is very nice. Now, physical-wise, again, great. Um, and he has the injury-prone player trait, which isn't necessarily a good thing, though. Um, but yeah, that overall, the card looks quite good, but we'll get into a game with him and see how he plays. Right, Bailly's positioning looks quite nice. Yeah, that was decent positioning there from Bailly. We'll try and get the ball to him to make a pass. Right, his pace is quite good there. As you can see, he seemed to sort of outpace Mbappe there, which shows... What must be decent pace. Uh, he's injured, sadly, which is the injury-prone trait right there. We'll make a pass with him. It's not a terrible pass, but if you try hard enough, anyone can make a good pass, I guess. It's not a best shot. Wasn't a great tackle there from um, Eric by by good pace again. Play through. Nice goal there from Dembele. Good header. All right, bye. Good pace shown there. It's a nice turn there on Ben Yedda. Good tackle from Eric Bay there. That's the first main tackle he's done and it was a very nice one. Good block from Bay. Great tackle from Bay again. Alright. That's not bad dribbling to be fair from Bay. Good block from Bailly again. In the time Bailly was playing the match, I think he did very well. Now, I'm going to quickly go through the pros and cons. And also, please sub to the channel if you're new. I'll appreciate it. It's been doing really well recently. Uh, I love the support from you guys. Thanks a lot. But um, anyway, Eric Bailly. In the game, his defending was very nice. Especially his interceptions and blocking. Um, he seemed very well in that department. His standing tackle did seem a bit shaky, but the way he slid into players was very nice. Now, he was very aggressive the way he went into the tackles. Um, his passing wasn't that bad, actually. I feel like his long passing was better than his short passing, to be fair. Now, his dribbling wasn't too bad either. He was quite responsive to say he was a centre-back as well. Um, the main problem pr was actually something that I didn't think it would be, which was actually his injury-prone trait, because... Obviously got injured early on and was injured for about 30 minutes of the game. And it seemed to put his stamina down quite a bit as well. So, unless that was just me being unlucky or if he generally gets injured quite a lot, I don't know. But apart from that, 
there's nothing really bad to say about him. He made a few wonky passes and his positioning at times was a bit poor. But overall, he was a solid card, lads. And I'll give him a solid 8 out of 10. And um, yeah, good centre-back. See you lads later.